Uh, mom, dad, really excited to be back home. Finished up my first semester at Portland State, and I'm um, really, really happy. You let me bring my um, my, my, fr my friend, uh, Liam. <clears throat> Well, Richard, your father and I are so happy to have you home. Thanks, it is such a pleasure. But I have to ask, what exactly is this get up? <laughs> oh, well, what are you wearing, it's, honey? It's 85 degrees. Helen, it's 85 degrees outside. It's Why? Not, I'm, sorry. I'm not, not even not even used to this yet. So what, what is that a key to? My mind, Dad. What are they teaching him at this libtard university? Doug, let's cool down a little bit. Let's bring it back to the boys. How did you meet Liam? Oh, I'm, that's a fun story, Mom. We were uh, we were out one night, and uh, the next day we were kind of uh, we were already riding together. Liam Stone. Um, it was a little. I'd never done it before, and it was a little sore the first couple times we did it. But you know, I don't quite we're, follow riding fixed gear bicycles. Fixed gear bicycles, Doug. Do you know what that is? Fixed gear, Richard. When was the gear broken? We got you a Schwinn. It worked perfectly. May I please have some more wine? Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Only five across for you. Let's offer some to our guests. Uh, no, uh, thanks, but I actually strictly drink kombucha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's not drink wine. This is for Mama. Yes, uh, Daddy needs some as well, sweetheart. Hey, M Mom, why don't we get some uh, get some music going? Oh, uh, yeah, Helen, yeah. Helen, put the Jimmy Buffett on the new Bluetooth speakers. Oh, I just, oh I wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, 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 brought, I brought the shins. I brought the shins on wax. Yeah. I'm fine, boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just got that at Urban. Good. Damn. Dad, what what are you doing at that Libtard University? Did you go to the Bernie Sanders rally? You have changed, son. Shut up. Gosh, this is obnoxious. I had this dinner for one reason. I really want to tell you guys something. I just want to come out with it. Richard, sweetie. Your father, we love the gays. We love the gays. We love the we gays. We love the gays. Oh, Helen, we love oh the gays. Oh my gosh, I'm not gay. Mom, Dad, I'm not gay. I'm a hipster. Let's just say grace. Sunday. Sunday night salad. Bienvenidos, aloha, and welcome into season two, episode one of Sunday Night Salad. I'm Alex Crawford, your host. Alongside me, not as always, there is no milk flood here. Um, <clears throat> he took a summer job, and we're going to get to that. We'll address that momentarily, but let's catch you up on what's been happening in the off season, as they say. Uh, in the off season, I uh, I got a job at the Portland Rib Company as a part time magician, and while the pay was not exactly lucrative, um, I did have a good time. I learned a few tricks, turned a few tricks, uh, huh? fucked a few chicks. You know, um, it was good. It was good. Uh, and also, all you can eat ribs and cornbread um, every day after work. So you know, how you gonna beat that? Uh, <clears throat> milk. Where is he? We all want to know. He took a summer job. We've all worked summer jobs growing up, maybe as a carny at the county fair, maybe jerking a guy off the local bus station for a few bucks. Whatever it is, it's summer work. And Milk decided to do that, and he left me here, kind of left me hanging. You know, you go up for the high five, or maybe it's a black guy you just met. You don't know how a handshake works, uh, and, and you're just left standing there saying, what do I do? But you press on, and that's what we're going to do. Milk recorded a video message for us, and, uh, and we're going to play that. Can you roll that tape? We can. Hey Alex, uh, can you hear me? Cool, um, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to leave you a message saying, I don't think I'm doing the show this season. I think I'm done. Um, the food industry's really taking off and I'm trying to, you know, step it up. I got this lemonade stand set up. It's, it's cool, like, I think it's sick, I mean, it's not really selling so well. I don't really a fuck. Um, I don't know why. I'm on a highway to hell. My lemonade will treat you so well. 
Lemonade! I'm on a highway to heck. Lemonade, it's the best. But yeah, um, say hi to everyone. And, uh, I'm leaving the show. And so there you have it. No milk for season two. Just me. Just your boy, Alex Crawford, flying solo. Superman, here we go. We got a great show for you um, planned for this one. We also, in addition to me, they brought back Kyle B. Hart, the Motivational Minute. And uh, honestly, I watch those to get up, to get up, to be here for you, the viewer. I need to get motivated. Kyle B. does it for me. He's going to do it for you. And then after that, we've got a little new segment. It's called Extreme Makeover Sunday Night Salad Edition. Oh, look out. We're going to take this dude. He's out on the street, and we're just going to and we're gonna take him from a, a bum into... I guess a hot, sexy, fuckable dude. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to bring that to you. And then Arthur Mites back with the truth. And, uh, and Lord, am I excited. And after that, we have a special musical guest, Winter Break. Uh, they're, they're from Southern California. We went out of state for this one. And they're going to come on. And then they're going to play a song for us. And that's and then welcome to season two. huh? All right. Just me. Flying solo. Let's start things off. Let's get motivated, Kyle B. Motivate me, motherfucker. Competition is great, but comparing? Far from it. What good actually comes out of comparing yourself to others? Nothing. When you see what your friends are doing on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and you think, hmm, maybe I should get an ass tat. Maybe I should get a better job. Maybe I should be traveling the world. You know, it's not very fair to compare your life to someone else's, especially in social media, because that's just a small window of who they actually are as a person. And when you compare yourself to other people, you're really just pushing yourself farther and farther away from your actual dreams and what you want to achieve. So instead of comparing yourself, why don't you try creating yourself? I fucking love this shit, man. You know how pumped you get me and the audience. That's why they brought you back. Thank you. Extreme Makeover Sunday Night Salad Edition is about to take place. We've never done this before. So buckle up, huh? Let's make this thing over, huh? Take this bum, make him a winner, huh? Well, once I lived the life of a millionaire. Lost all my money, didn't have any cares Took my friends out for mighty good time Pop hoop, leg liquor, champagne wine Then I began to fall so low Let's go rescue this loser I had nowhere to go We're all fucking ants Murder the government Don't touch my guitar, dude What are you guys doing? Um, we're actually with Sunday Night Salad Okay, I don't give a shit. Um, you should give a shit because you're a loser. I do so. And this is Loser, loser Rescue. Rescue. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep playing. Fuck you guys. Murder the government. I Welcome to Loser Rescue. I'm your host, Rick Shandy. With me, I have the beautiful... Jennifer, bonsoir. Nice to see up the apartment, loser. This is Scooter. Oh, shit. And Scooter's a loser. But not for long, little buddy. He is going to be transformed into a normal looking man. Uh, clearly, Scooter is in denial. That's why he has no Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. You want to uh, run run them through uh, the changes uh, Scooter's going to be undergoing? Scooter, we're going to make you look better. You're going to get a job. You're going to get more Facebook friends, and you're going to smell. I don't need Facebook. It's slavery. No. <laughs> These are the most important things in life. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn to understand that. You're going to learn. And now let's start the showering process. Let's do that. Come on, Scooter. Rick, 
colonne. Lots of it. Better. Other. Douchebags. Well done. Très bien. User rescued. Mission accomplished. Wow, thanks Sunday night salad. Now I can get a job at Intel. Although I do wonder if drinking a lime Rita makes you a pussy. We can answer that question later. Um, Extreme Makeover Team. Wow, I would let my daughter date that guy, although I don't have much of a say in it. If I did, I would. Now let's go back to one of our staples from Season 1. And I know Arthur Might and Milk had some beef, but they squashed it. We've all have obstacles we got to overcome. Uh, they overcame theirs. And although Milk's not here, uh, Arthur Arthur is back and he's reporting. And uh, I heard I heard they were playing a lot of shuffleboard in the offseason. Perhaps a Caribbean cruise in the work, a little banana boat riding. Never done it. Seen pictures. Want to try it. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm so sorry. I have a FaceTime from from Milk Flood. Okay, let's go to this. Hey, we can cut to this, right? Okay. Let's go. Milk Flood FaceTiming me live. You wouldn't. Yeah. The truth is stranger than fiction. Milk? Milk? Hello? Hey, well, what's up, Alex? Um, sorry to hit you up so much. Twice in one day. Um,. All the food and beverage industry isn't really working out so well. I uh, need a little money. I just, just got a quick message for you. I'm coming I haven't been this happy since uh, since Match.com two weeks ago when I got this MILF, which I guess I don't... Can I say that? Can I say that? No, I'm actually super stoked. Um, having Milk back, this has, been, this has been really hard without him. But you know what makes it a little bit easier? Arthur Might's killer reporting. Arthur! What's up? What's up, Croft? I'm down here in Pacific City, about to compete in the Cape Kiwanda Longboard Classic alongside my buddy Swamer. I don't know how far I'll go, but I think Swammer's going to bring home the gold for us. Sorry to hear about Milk, man. Hope you're doing well. Swammer and I aren't exactly the type to compete in a surf contest. I mean, we're just a couple of Portlanders who try to get out here once a month. But we didn't think the level of competition would be too intimidating. I mean, this isn't Huntington Beach. This is Oregon. Land of the Great Whites. Land of those submerged logs that you're always afraid are going to knock you in the dome when you're duck diving. Land of the loneliness, the suffocating beauty, and plenty of waves. The competition here has been going on for 17 years. And who are we but a couple of kooks in the cold water scene? Hey Swammer, how are you feeling about the contest? Uh, a little nervous, a little excited. Range of emotions right now. That food smells really good. That's what's on my mind right now. It smells like barbecue. Maybe barbecue chicken.
sweat every day. Everything's always wet. See, everything's always wet. Hey, Swerver, how are you feeling about the comp today? You know, I'm not really feeling much. I just want to go surf. What's your plan once you get to Pacific City? Uh, go surf for a little, actually get coffee, that's number one. Surf for a little bit. Get out, watch the old guys do their thing. Watch you do your thing. And go out there and try. Surf contests are a funny thing. I mean, besides size of wave and difficulty of maneuver, which, let's be honest, we don't have any, the only thing the judges can judge you on is style. And what could be more subjective than somebody's style? It all just feels like one big aquatic fashion show. Here's my pondering gargoyle. I call this one Swamer walks to the shindig and then thinks, oh shoot, how am I going to get home? Should I Uber or should I lift? He gets home by midnight. This is my oldest trick in the book, I call it sucking up to the locals. At the close out of the day, Swimmer and I had impressed the judges enough to move on to the next round. We were coming back tomorrow for the semifinals. thing in the bag. You get a good night's sleep? Nope. Why not? Because I slept on the ground. <laughs> big, big day, time to impress. But we both just kind of flopped. Even when we thought we had a little steam, we couldn't help but just let it all peter out. And any attempt afterwards to make something look cool just kind of looked, eh, mm, no. Here's Swam around a little left, gets a nice little second drop in here, and then he just kind of, uh, Arthur up? Arthur, hey! No. By the time our feet hit dry sand, we knew we weren't going to the finals. Hi, uh, Michael Swammer. Got out in the semifinals. I did. How do you feel about that? I know, uh, disappointed in myself. Didn't quite follow through like I'd hoped. So, you know, next year. And uh, what are you going to do better next year? What are you going to do now between the now and the contest next summer? Keep surfing. That's all you can do. Just have fun with it. That's my word to the kids. Have fun with it. Soul surfer, man. It's like Team Puppin, Suds, or Sex Blades. Just gotta do it for the love. So you're saying you're on Team Pup and Suds? Saying I'm on Team Pup and Suds. <laughs> do you care to elaborate on that? Well, you know, put so much time into one thing that you really love doing. Judges tell you you're not good enough. Go back home with your tail in between your legs. Punch the clock. Do the 9 to 5. Well, you win some, you loser. Back to you, Croft. Arthur, I'm sure that piece was great. I actually was not watching. I was a, I was grilling a steak. I'm a little bit hungry. I'm a little bit lost and confused, as I said before, without milk. Although I did have some of this royal jelly, as recommended by the Paul and Man back in episode three by you, Arthur. Thank you. My therapist said I should try a more holistic approach. It's not working. I need a cigarette. But in the meantime, I'm going to get to this steak. Let's bring on our guest winter break um <laughs> let's 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 bring them on come on down guys come come on out and take a seat they're a band they're a band i believe they're from southern california and uh i'm gonna ask them some questions so come on down take a seat let's uh yeah let's get in here huh oh oh oh, oh. lost the uh How did you guys get started? How did you guys all meet, start rocking out together, and eventually end up here on the set of Sunday Night Salad? All right, I'm going to try to make this short. I met Aaron in high school, and then we started playing music after high school in a, another three-piece. Then that band died, the three-piece band. Our band called Babies. Our band called Baby's Breath. 
Then summer vacation formed with me, Sean Arenas, and Aaron. And after a year of playing as a three piece, Matt joined the band on bass. And after playing maybe three more years together, three or four. three almost four years together later on, summer vacation was over and we started winter break. And how's the transition been? Super good. Is it Bruce Jenner esque? You know, are you getting as much pub as his transition? What? Bruce Jenner <laughs> transition to Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, summer vacation transition to winter break, and and we all know that was highly publicized. Is this what? How's it been? How how's been the res the reception from the fans and and you guys changing things up? Probably not the same way that Caitlyn Jenner is getting her reception. It's a little different. Ours pretty much the same band, same. Uh, nothing's really changed. Yeah, maybe the name. But the rocking is still. Oh yeah, the rocking's still the same. Yeah, we. I think we rock. As hard as we can. I do too. I do too. Thank the you. Record show. <laughs> Thank you so much. That smells pretty good. Would you like a bite? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Open wide, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Chew that right into the mic. Let the, uh, let the audience hear. Delicious play. I grilled this up during Arthur's piece. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Running with the devil. Let's talk about the SoCal DIY scene. You guys would identify as a DIY band, am I right? Yeah, we're going to need to talk into the microphone. Or, or <laughs> nod, nod into the microphone. Elaborate. What, what does that entail? What goes into being a DIY band? Elaborate. Um... Well, there are many different definitions for that. You could ask one person what DIY means and they'll give you one answer. Another person will give you a different answer. Sort of like uh, similar to what does it mean to be a Christian? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, there are a lot of questions that needs that need to be answered and there's never one clear answer because everyone has their own answer. Yeah. This is a chewy steak fight. Why do you do it? Why do you do what you do? Oh, it's really fun. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. You guys? Yeah. Something else to do. It's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's something else to do. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. It pays Are you up. having fun? Yes, I am. Good. As, as far as paying, it doesn't matter. But it pays in the soul. And that's what DIY is all about, am I exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, losing money and paying from the soul. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. Is there a, a light at the end of the tunnel? Depends why you're doing it. You can live for the moment. You can write songs for fun. You can write challenging songs. Um, you can do it to meet people. You can do it just to get ringing in your ears. Yeah. Round, round, get around. I get around. Yeah. Aaron, you, do you run Lauren Rec? Are you the CEO? Are you the head honcho? Legs crossed up on the desk, smoking the cigar, saying, Hey, Johnny, make another record for me, or else. What? How does it work? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly I just rely on like one cash cow, like Walter Mitty. And they, they've done all right for you, huh? Yeah. But, but tell, me more, tell me more about Lauren Records. I'm curious. Um, well, I mean, like, what do you want to know? What is it? Uh, it's a record label, side project, hobby. But there's quite a few bands on it. Yeah, I'm not sure how many, but, but it's, so there it's are grown, quite a few. It's grown significantly since you started. Yeah. If you him, put the mic up. Come here, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> You can do that one yourself, huh? DIY. <laughs> right there. <laughs> DIY feeding. All right. We have winter break. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. This is Alex Crawford for <laughs> Not Milk Flood for winter break for Arthur Mike, Kyle B. Hart, and the Extreme Makeover crew saying from Portland to the Middle East to wherever you might be watching, thank you for watching. Here's winter break with 
Untitled track number six slash safety bell. Tim Gunn writes, how stoned is milk? Well, I can tell you, I know weed might be legal in Oregon, but the amount he's smoking would get you pulled over and shot, probably. It's a lot. Okay. He's stoned as, uh, he's uh, stoned to the Jesus belts. Okay. Uh, I watch so much goddamn porn, I gotta find new subgenres to even get hard to. As Michael Jackson said, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Alex, are you okay? I don't know.